I am Valerie Kumar, and I'm president of Love Manifest. So Love Manifest brings clean water to villages that don't have clean water um, in the form of a sealed hand pump bore well. Um, sometimes, you know, it's a simple hand pump, and sometimes it's a large uh, water tank with spigots, depending on the size of the village and how many people live there. Um, Love Manifest also provides care and um, therapy and rehabilitation services for special needs children and their families. And Love Manifest provides cataract surgeries to people who have been blinded. Um, the, there's a lot of farming communities around here and the, the sun is so intense that the cataracts, are, it's not, they're not like the cataracts that we see in the United States, they're, they're full, full blinding cataracts. And right now, you know, for $75, $75 we can provide um, the initial visit, you know, in, in the form of a, a medical camp, an eye camp, um, and, and the surgery itself, and then post-op care, which is one of the first things that we did outside of clean water. Love Manifest has a school, a small school of 62 children right now. It fluctuates. Um, they're, they're ages 5 to 10, and they are orphaned or semi-orphaned, or the families are, they just don't make enough money to care for them, and they're at risk of being sold. And um, So I, I always kind of like to look at the Love Manifest school as a, it's prevent, preventive trafficking. I look at it that way. It, we get to the child before we have to rescue the child. They're provided with everything that they need, uh, clothing, education, housing, security, food, uniforms, and uh, a whole lot of love. Love Manifest is, it's a nonprofit organization, but it's more than that. It's, it's a, it's a portal, and it's an avenue uh, for people to, it, to do what they were called to do in a way that's attainable. Um, it's a way for young people to kind of find their place in the world, um, whether they want to give clean water to a village, whether they want to care for children who have been orphaned or abandoned. If they, if they want to provide medical care or give sight to somebody who's blind or spend time with somebody who has leprosy or just discover you know, any of those things along the way. It's, it's a place for people to come together and do those things. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>